Hey guys, Joshua Stern and Michael Walters. We're with the Stern team at Keller Williams and our goal is to keep you guys educated about all things real estate, especially with current market trends that we're having right now. That way when it comes to buying, selling, investing, or in this case, retaining your home, you make an educated decision. So Mike, today I wanted to talk about um, the Fed interest rates and, and how they affect mortgage rates. Yeah. Because, you know, the feds have met uh, a couple of times to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, they know that we've got to inject money into the uh, market, basically. And so they've cut their interest rate down to zero. And so for those of us uh, laymen out there, we kind of expect mortgage, mortgage rates to be like right. close to zero. The reality behind uh, the Fed interest rate and the way that this works is, you know, first and foremost, the federal interest rate is really the rate that they're lending money out overnight. So it's just a very, very short term. Let's call it a 24 hour rate, if you will. And the reality is that it doesn't have the same, you know, pass through to long term mortgages. So the longer the mortgage, the higher the rate would be, generally speaking. And so I'm going to kind of go through some of the data points on this that I have so I don't mess it up. So bear with me, you guys. Um, so we know that there's been two rate cuts um, that have happened. I think we're at 0% right now. Um, and that's de designed to stimulate the economy, making it cheaper for people to borrow money. Together with the Fed's move to buy at least $500 billion in U.S. Treasuries and then $200 billion in mortgage-backed securities, the actions signal that the Fed's uh, put the economic effect of the coronavirus outbreak on a similar level to where it was back in 2008, if you remember. And they, they bought trillions in bonds. It was, it was amazing. And the reason um, for the fact that we're not getting down to that 0% when it comes to mortgages um, is that the federal fund rate of zero uh, is the overnight rate. And the, the mortgage-backed bonds and securities can actually change upwards of a thousand times a day, which is nuts. I had no idea. They're a lot quicker to act. The mortgages react to the Fed rate cut before it even happens. And so what that means is those rates were just a few weeks ago, you know, down by 3%. Um, that was really the, the, the mortgage-backed securities sort of reacting to, they knew the feds were going to cut the rate. And so the rates were already lowered. In fact, Michael, the rates have gone up now that the feds have reduced the rates. Um, so the idea is that the mortgage-backed securities anticipate these things. The other challenge that we've had with why the interest rates actually went up a little bit from, what was it, three and an eighth? Uh, just that probably years ago. Yeah, the other reason is, is purely because of the bottlenecks. So there were a ton of people that we were in touch with. We were calling people, as many as we could, uh, who had bought a house in the last couple of years and just be like, just refinance, just refinance. Yeah. Well, I guess the rest of the world was, they were doing the same thing we were doing, right? And, and what that did is that it created kind of a bottleneck uh, for the processing side of things. And so as a result, um, there was a higher demand for these mortgage-backed securities, and when you have demand for something, the cost of it yeah, goes, up. goes up, exactly. And so that's the other reason. I think maybe what we'll see is the interest rates uh, come down a little bit um, from where they are right now. And you guys, they jumped up uh, by 2%, more than 2% now in the last three weeks, even though the Fed cut that rate to, to um, zero, right? I think we're going to see that rate probably settle a little bit when the bottleneck of the refinances come through. Um, but if we look in perspective, um, which is always important, Michael, go back, what, 43 years for um, the average interest rate? And I think it's still, you know, it, I know it's still north of 8%. It's still higher than 8%. Uh, 8%. So putting it in perspective, the interest rates are still lower than where we're used to, but my gosh, it's kind of causing a little bit of a panic as much as they've gone up, uh, what, in just in two weeks? I've never seen that before. I've been doing this for two decades. So I think it'll come down um, a little bit, but you guys, um, d don't, d don't rush to try to go out and refinance your property right now. Let these folks who are already in process just kind of, you know, settle down the system a little bit. Let's clear up that bottleneck. Um, if you're unsure of where the rate is, um, and there's a lot of different stuff when you try to Google it, um, 
reach out to us. Uh, we'll, we'll turn you on to uh, Mandy Henriot, who is with Intercap Lending, and she can quote you a real-time rate, which is very important. She can also give you advice on whether or not you should be refinancing or if maybe you ought to wait a week or two weeks or three weeks or something like that to see where the rates come down to. The other thing that was really cool about um, Intercap, when I was talking to Mandy with you just the other day, um, she had mentioned because Intercap servicing their own loans that it's real likely that even if one of our buyers might get into the property at 5%, that if the rate went down because Intercap servicing it, that they'll likely be able to do like a rate reset, meaning that if the rate was at 5 and now it's at 4, they could literally just reset that rate for you um, at that time. So that's what we're hoping for. But again, you guys, if yeah, if if you're as confused as we are right now, I totally get it. That's why we're trying to bring this information to you. But if you really want to know exactly what's happening right now, just email myself, email Michael, give us a call, um, and we'll walk you through this process. We'll hook you up with Mandy if we need to. Whatever it is, you know, we're here to help. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. We're going to get through this.